All right, analysis is done. I managed to get two pages of it. Yo, 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 what's going on, T20? I hope you're all super well. This is the first time I've stepped outside today. It's about two o'clock, probably the hottest part of the day and extremely bright. I need to turn that brightness down. It is baking out here, so hot. This is why I don't like Australia. This is why I was so fortunate last year to go off to England, travel over there, play games, train a whole heap. In winter, we trained in snow, all that sort of cool stuff. I had the Australian winter, then I had the England winter, then I had the Australian winter. Now I'm getting into this Australian summer. So I've woke up this morning and kind of just been sitting around doing not a whole lot. It feels weird, I get this urge that I need to go to the gym. Not train, not anything else, I just have this urge that I need to go and lift weight. I don't know why, it's weird, I don't like it. So if you guys didn't watch yesterday's video, I highly suggest that you go and watch it. This is the first day of a four day rest period for me. Looking to get back into training on Tuesday where I'll just be amazing you guys remember when i had that rest period going to bali all that sort of stuff just a little bit of time to let the body recover let my mind recover i killed it so that's the goal for now but you guys have read the title correctly today's video is going to be not all about but a big chunk of it about how i analyze football matches so eventually i'm going to sit down with you guys take you through that because i think it's a skill that i've spent so much time on i've nowhere near mastered it but i think i can pass on a lot of information to you guys so that's what we're going to do soon now oh it's really hot i have coaching this afternoon <sighs> Not keen, but look, you gotta find the benefits of these rest days. One big benefit is I don't have to train in this 36 degree heat. Oh, yeah, not a fan of Australia. Oh man, it's still so hot out here. The breeze just makes it even worse. I'm heading off to my coaching session now and I'm taking the GoPro. We're gonna do a little bit of first person coaching for you guys. So I'll be wearing it while I coach. You guys will hear a few points. No, it won't go for too long, just a little bit here and there. But yeah, this is not the ideal heat. This is the first really hot day in Australia in a while, so it's important. Number one, that I give them lots of drink breaks. Number two, I don't push them too hard because nobody's body has adapted to this heat yet. So we're gonna head down there now. A little bit of something different. Got down to the park a little bit early because I wanna set the session up, but this heat, man, it gets me thinking I'm pretty lucky that my rest days fell on this day. Pat's doing the same thing if you guys didn't see. There's a few things I've lined up during these rest days, such as talking with agents. I wanna get down to the rock pool, get a little session in there. Game analysis is obviously today. So I got a few things lined up of what I want to do in this time to make sure I'm progressing myself. Like I've said before, rest days are not a time to just sit around and do nothing. You need to be doing something in order to get yourself to that next level. The less you do, the less you're gonna improve. It's simple as that. So always find something you can do on these sorts of days, whether it's game analysis, stretching, trying to contact agents. Use your rest day for that rather than your other days. Super important stuff. Let's get into this session. All right, so Owen, <laughs> you got, uh, the rules are both people have to touch it. You got two bounce, three bounces in your square max, yep. right? And you're allowed one touch to a million touches. So if it goes in, Max, you can touch it to Owen. Owen, you touch it over, there you go. But you're only allowed three bounces. Got it? Yes, Jeff. Couple Jeff. practice rounds. Okay. I'll throw them in if they go out. Right. Both have to touch. You can do one touch if you want. It can come in and it can go like this. If I'm with Benji, it can go over. I kick to Benji, he kicks over. Yeah. Okay, let's do that, Owen. Let's do that. Off you go. That's three bounces. Good. There you go. Nice. Here it is. Here it is. Finn, leave it. Go. Owen, you better tag me. Come on, Instagram. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. Get that. Over. Good, Benji Finn. Calm, relax, not in. Nice. Now who's going to put the placement shot? There you go, Benji. Nice. Good. Yes, Benji. What a legend. I like it. Into the corner. All right, 2v2. Finn. I said you no, go. Finn, yeah. Finn, Benji, you guys defending that goal. Be Max, Owen, you guys are defending that one. Uh, no goal guarding. We're going to go one minute on, and then you get one minute off. So I want you to work hard. It's hot. Let's work hard for a minute. Then you get your minute rest. Back off. Ready? 
Play. Go, boys. Oh, back, back, back. Good. You only got one minute. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Missed. Play. Ball's just going to go in straight away. Ball in again. Came off Max. Oh, and press him. Press him. Good, Max. Play. Our time's wrong. I accidentally started it late. Good. I like that pass. Good vision there, Max. Oh, and great run. Out. Play. You got 2v1. You got 2v1. Oh, sorry. Miss. Play. Halfway gone. Good, Owen. I like it. Oh, it was Max. Play. Out. 15 to go. Get there, Owen. Nice. Whites, I need an option. Leave it, Max. Leave it, leave it. Play. Five seconds. Work hard. I'll let it play out. Let it play out. Let it play out. Stop. Good round, I like it. Now you get your minute rest. Recover, and then you work hard again. All right, I've had my shower. I'm ready for dinner. I've got my goslimi here. Now, usually you put it in the microwave before you fry it. You put it on defrost because that's a frozen one. But man, it's already defrosting in this heat. I keep going on about it, and I know I'm going to get absolutely slaughtered in the comments saying, Sheldon, 30 degrees is our winter in, I don't know where. But yeah, that's going to be my dinner, a goslimi. Then also here, we got the start of Sydney FC versus Melbourne City, two absolutely great teams. So I'm going to sit down, watch this. I'm just going to enjoy this one because I'm going to do a bit more game analysis later on the Arsenal game. I forget who they were versing, but I'm going to continue the last half of that and take you guys through the sorts of things that I look for. But yeah, this should be a good game and it's good for me to start watching the A-League because this is where I aspire to be at the end of these 365 days. So I need to see the level they're at, not necessarily compare myself, but see the things they do. How can I implement that into my game? And then you obviously look at the Premier League and take things from there. So just learning all the time, super, super important. Oh man, I nearly blew up the house. <laughs> I accidentally put the alpha, I wasn't thinking. I put the aluminum or the aluminum as we call it in the microwave. And this is metal basically. And yeah, we all know, don't put metal in the microwave. I just I wasn't thinking. So I put it in, I go down here to feed Spencer, and I look up, I say, boom, boom, boom! Man, it was like a battlefield in there. <laughs> and we got the dog. Spenny! Spencer! Spenner! Spency. All right, so that little transition, I had to fix it up and make it like block letters. But this stands for game analysis. I like to have a little book where I can write everything just for game analysis. It's not on bits of paper. I obviously did that with this one because I didn't have my book. I have another one somewhere around here. I'm not exactly sure where it is, but I have another one where I've written down stuff that I've focused on during games. It's just a, I love having little books that I write in. I can't find it, but I know it's somewhere. Uh, it looks like they don't actually hold the replays on the website for more than a week, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I will move on to the Arsenal Crystal Palace game. I just want to continue analyzing Ozil. I'll probably do 20 to 25 minutes basically until my mind just blows out. That's when I decide to stop. And for anyone else asking how to find the games, either Optus Sport if you're in Australia, sign up, get an account, whatever. I'm not sponsored by them. In fact, I don't even like them, but it is one way to watch the games. If you're not with Optus Sport, then just look online. There's so many streaming websites that you can find. Watch the match there or, you know, watch it somewhere else. I don't know. There's so many places you can find games. <laughs> Oh,
All right, analysis is, is done. I managed to get two pages of it and I stopped because when I say my brain just explodes or doesn't focus, whatever, I stop analyzing a match when I find I'm watching the game. There's a big difference between watching and analyzing. And if you can kind of notice that in your brain and go, I'm watching this too much, that's when I stop and it's fine. Look, I only got to the... I've watched up to the 20th minute of the match and it took me around 45 minutes to do that. So one of the points that I found really interesting, you guys can see on the side there, there's the first page, there's the second page of nodes. But on the second page, I saw a reoccurring thing at 9.48 and 17.11 and you guys can go and have a look at this as well. Basically, I said, seize the opportunity to replace the fullback, allowing Bellerin to push up forward and have a 1v1 down the sideline. Sydney FC move. Now, this is a move that... To me, I recognize it when I was with the Sydney FC Youth League team, the coach there, this was something that he implemented for the attacking midfielder to do in order to create an overload and a 1v1 for the fullback. And I saw that and went, oh, wow, Ozil is doing the exact same thing. And so it's recognizing when the fullback is able to push up, when the winger is out of position, and he did that twice in the span of, what, eight minutes or so. So that was a big point for me where I went, oh yeah, that's something that's in my arsenal, something I can use, no pun intended, in order to create space for myself and for my teammates. So that's my analysis done. Don't forget, on my website, SheldonTweedy.com, I have analysis of an attacking midfielder and a winger. If you guys are interested in that, link will be down in the description where I take you through an entire analysis, the three points for each position, just to get the ball rolling for you guys if you're unsure how to do an analysis. Now that that's done, it's smoothie time. I'm hungry, I'm like expanding. The other night when we had burgers, I had two burgers and chips, and I'd already finished two burgers in the span of everybody else finishing their one. So look, I don't know what it is, but my stomach's expanding, my appetite is expanding, it's great. Just because I'm on a rest period, it doesn't mean I need to take any of that away. I need to keep it up, keep the momentum going so that I can go into these trials full of confidence and absolutely blitz it. So, smoothie. All right, so here's my smoothie. Let's see if you guys can top it. I think one or maybe two have sent in their delicious smoothies. Here's one guy. I just remember he's doing some pose with his lips. I love it. And then the second guy, if he's there, if he's not, then I don't know. I don't know what the second guy's doing. Is there even a second guy on the screen or am I just staring into nothingness? Oh well, that's that. <laughs> and it's bedtime for me. That's day one ticked of the four day recovery and it, uh, I don't know if I like it. It definitely has its benefits, meaning I don't have to go out and work hard, which is, look, it's okay. It's not the best benefit, but it's there. But man, I want to get out and work. I want to be training. I want to be grinding. I want to be lifting weights. I want to be dribbling fast. I want to be shooting better, all that sort of stuff. But I know what's best for me is to have this four day rest, come back into it and destroy everything. So look, it sucks. It's not the most fun thing for me. And at times I'm sitting here just eager to get out and work. But look, like I've said, I've been working hard for five weeks straight or so. It's time to step off the pedal a little bit, let my body, my mind recover and then get back into it on Tuesday. So that's a plan. I hope I helped at least one of you guys with game analysis. If I did go out there, Write your stuff down, send me photos on Instagram, and I'll chuck them on next time I do game analysis. I want to see your notes. Let's all share with each other. But yeah, I really do hope you guys were able to learn something there. Team Tweety, I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're around here. Join the journey. I'll see you tomorrow.